that's why I feel like it's necessary to not not be rude, not be mean. Like I think it's cool to poke fun at people and stuff like that, but I I, I don't agree with like threats and anything that Dylan Dylan may be getting. But I do think that um, it is important to call out BS basically when you see it when it's reaching people on such a large scale. Yeah, I think calling out BS is fine. I think my my more full-throated defense of, or like seeming defense of Dylan has mostly come from what I perceive as a an overwhelming campaign to like bully them off the internet or make them feel badly about mm-hmm. themselves. Like Matt Walsh, the the language he used, he he likes to claim that he was just speaking facts, but there was a lot of attacks of personal appearance and and just the language that was used was very much like a 12-year-old girl online trying to get someone from her school to kill themselves. Like, that's what it felt like to me. There was that 4chan. And it was a 4chan deepfake that they had of Joe Biden saying the old, like, 4chan speech where it was like, you will never, your parents will, like, when you when you kill yourself, your parents will then put you in boy clothes because they were never, like it was It was really just deep and it was really dark and that's the way that the Matt Walsh read to me. It was very me. dark, yeah. Very I'm not dark. saying what that, that is, I'm but not that saying, very yeah. it was awful. I'm and not now. saying that Matt Walsh specifically was trying to get Dylan to, you know, disappear, but it was the language that was used that I had an issue with and it felt like mm. an unfair, overwhelming targeting of one particular person who, by the way, is just gonna use all of that stuff, which they are now doing, on stage, it does using the their own thing. words. It does yeah. create the victimhood you are, thing. You are creating the narrative that they will use yeah, it's just to like, victimize themselves. Matt's, it's not like Matt's punching down or anything. I think Matt is punching down. Dylan has more followers. Does Dylan have more Dylan followers? Ha- Matt Walsh doesn't have 10 million followers. Fair enough. Matt Walsh yeah. isn't getting invited to the White House by Joe Biden and getting letters of congratulations. Yeah. And I'm not saying I would call, I mean, I would, I would make a tweet um, calling Dylan ugly and hideous and, and whatever was said. I for, kind of forgot the original tweet. But I guess I'm just, I don't have the energy to be mad at Matt Walsh for a tweet when Dylan is doing way more damage to, I think, society than Matt Walsh is. My, I, I mean, yes, the, the, his statement was very, it was very targeted, very, and, and what I think it does though, and this goes into the other direction, because you're right, it is a cultural issue, the reason why Dylan's got so much popularity. Mm-hmm. But like, the, the way that, I don't think it moves the needle on the culture issue by being so just. You're right. Hate, I guess, it's I, a I, I, I would say hate. I would say hateful, I guess. Yeah. But being so just mean, and, and, and mean-spirited in it. Whereas, like, I think that there are people, there's a lot of trans people in the middle. I see them popping mm-hmm. up on Twitter every day. They're in my DMs telling me, like, thanking me for doing this. And a lot of people don't want to speak out very publicly because it's, it's a lose-lose situation. If you speak out against the left, the TRAs hate you. If you speak out against the right, mm-hmm. then, or, or if you just, even, if, even just by speaking out and speaking the same language, you get a lot of hate from the, from the, mm. from the more socially conservative. And so a lot of people don't want to step out of that limelight, and a lot of people live stealth. And, but then at the same point in time, they're saying, why aren't the trans people out here speaking out against us? It's like, well, because of stuff like that. Yeah. And so, like, if you ever, I... And Sarah, I, you can speak to this. Like, yeah. you've been very vocally against um, what's happening in schools and online to kids and mm-hmm. and a lot of these toxic things that most conservatives claim to be most fearful about. Like you are a vocal opponent of those things mm-hmm. and, and a great spokesperson against them at that. And mm-hmm. yet there are so many people who choose to obsess over you as the target of their bullying. And this is kind of for those who are wondering what my behind the scenes thinking about the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing is, it's it's that I'm worried about the way this topic is heating up on the right, that it is causing people to see everyone mm-hmm. that doesn't, like that is trans as a target. Yeah. You know, that is a yeah. genuine worry. And can I've, you speak I've, to- well, I've seen a lot of people that I thought I was friends with move more to the right and kind of start heating up their rhetoric and we are no longer friends because they kind of took this tone against all trans people. There's this 
this notion on, on Twitter that's I'm done being nice, and it's basically they're done being nice to trans people, period. And it's like, wait, but you were just nice to me. Like, we were friends, and now what's going on? Yeah.